Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing our animals in their habitats printmaking project. One thing that we need to really realize early on is that if you just draw, it's not going to show up when we print. So every single line where you're, so this would be my animal, so if I want to show the line between his ears or between his nose and his eyes, I have to make sure that I have paper overlapping each other so it creates those lines. So, what I mean by that is if I wanted to create a line right here, I couldn't just draw it. I would have to overlap them. And now if I take a pencil, you'll see what I mean. See how because I have that paper overlapping each other, it created a line. So every time you want to create a line on your animal, whether it's the fur or whether it's between the ears, or the nose, or things like that, you need to have the paper overlapping each other. So when we start with our animal, you are gonna get your printing plate, which is the white paper, and you are not going to cut this. Then you're gonna get a colored sheet of paper. It might be orange, it might be yellow, it might be green, it might be black, it might be red. Whatever color it is, doesn't matter. You can get as many as you need from me, but try to use the most of it um, as much as you can before asking for another one. Um, all right. So I'm going to put the printing plate away for a little bit because we're not going to need it right this second. We're going to glue everything onto it later, though. And then I'm going to look at my animal. And when you are making your animal, you want to start from what's furthest away and build on top. So you, it's almost like breaking your animal down into different sections from what's furthest away to what's closest. So if I'm looking at this picture, what is the furthest thing away? Is it this? Is it his body? Is it his ears? His head? His mouth? His nose? His eyes? Or this branch in front? So I'm going to say, and this is a red panda by the way, um, that this, the furthest thing away is his body. So I'm going to outline it so you guys know which one I'm going to do first. And I'm outlining it in this blue. So this is the general shape that I'm going to have to cut out. And notice how I'm making my lines wiggly on the edge so that you can see. I mean, you're not cutting these things out and tracing them. It's not what's happening. But I want you to have an idea of how we're going to set this up before we start it. So then I'm going to take another color for our next one. So blue is going to be the first one. First thing that we cut out. And the next thing that's a little bit closer to us is his head. So, do that and then all the way around. So I'd have that overlapping the body. This would be the second. And then next, I'd say the ears And the mouth are about on the same level. And I'd have to overlap those two, so I'd have to have a piece down here that was overlapping and the mouth that was overlapping. So this is going to be the third. And then finally, I'd have the eyes. I'm going to grab one more color so I can do that. And then I'd say his eyes. Okay, and then the very last thing is we worry about our background and our our habitat. If you want to put habitat in the back before, that is completely fine. So, now we have to work on drawing it. So if I want to break this down into sections, we talked about the fact that this back has to go first. So, let me refocus this. Alright, i put this off to the side so I can see what I'm doing put it like this so you guys can see also. I'm going to grab a pencil and every time you are drawing you have to make sure you're drawing really lightly so that you get it right and that you're not going to have to erase and it'd be really difficult when you ask me for a new one. So I'm going to draw his body and I'm going to give it a little bit more so I'm going to kind of go around in his head. So I'm going to draw this shape. And then we go like this. And then wiggly lines. 
Come down here, my wiggly lines. Okay, so that's my basic first shape. So this is the first one I'll draw right here. So then the next shape is the head. So I could cut that out. I'm going to measure next to it. So I'm going to scoot it over a little bit. And then his head shape. I'm going to have ears put in there. And then I'm going to draw it down. And notice I have those wiggly edges. Okay, so those are my first two things. And then I have a little bit more room right here. And I'm going to draw his nose. So his nose comes up, it comes back down, and then it comes up a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to draw this bottom part right here. Because remember, it's got to overlap. So I'm going to do that, and then doing that. So this is where it really helps if you break things down into basic shapes. Notice that I'm always, you probably can't tell, but I'm always looking back to make sure I'm actually drawing it correctly. I always use the picture as a guide. All right, so that's my actual nose. This is his mouth, and I'll write it on here so you guys aren't confused. Mouth, bottom of his mouth, M, bottom, mouth, nose, head, body. Okay, so I'd work on cutting these out, and then I'd layer them on top of each other. So this is going to be our first thing that we're going to do, and I hope you guys can see everything that I just drew, so I'm going to refocus it. I'll bring it up to you guys so you can actually see. So how I drew it all. Notice I drew it really lightly until I got it right. So in the next video, I'm going to cut them all out and I'm going to show you how to assemble them.